Hi guys, it's Jay with Earthly Kisses coming today with a new soaping video. I participated into a soap challenge, uh, something that I've always wanted to do, but um, just didn't have everything that I needed to enter any previous soap challenges. And this one was fairly simple. It is confetti soap. You can use whatever color confetti you would like, uh, but the base color of the soap has to be pink. Now, you know, I don't like the color pink, but it, because it was for a soap challenge and it seemed like it could be fun. I've never really made a confetti soap before, so I thought I'd go ahead and give it a shot. So I'm just mixing everything up here. I am using a canola oil soap base. Um, I got excited about a bottle of soap. Uh, I got excited about a bottle of canola oil and it was so cheap i was like oh yeah i can make all these soaps with this canola oil blah 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 get home get it into the soap calculator calculator and come and find out um from what i've seen it's not the best oil in the world to use for soap but for this purpose it will be just fine now if you have any experiences using canola oil in your soaps and it can't turn out great leave me a comment down below and uh just let me know what your thoughts is as far as the usage of canola oil because now i have a gallon of this stuff and i don't know how i'm gonna get rid of it so i'm just mixing everything up here you can see my soap shreds that I have in the background and I'm going to take the time to add a little bit more fragrance to this soap batter um, because my fragrance was a little bit lighter than what I normally soap with. Um, this is a fairly old fragrance. I figured this is a perfect time to go ahead and get it used up. So I added a little bit more of my fragrance here and I'm going to add some titanium dioxide uh, to this batch just to give it a nice smooth start and beginning. Um, I'm not an expert on mixing up pinks <laughs> because I don't really care for pink and when I do use pink it's really a bold color um but because the, um my soap shreds were so such a dark color there's a lot of browns and a lot of black and uh just a lot of darker colors i didn't want it to be too dark of a pink uh to work with so we'll just see how this turns out here but i'm just going through the process of getting everything all mixed up i'm gonna go ahead and get this split off now the idea for this soap is for this to be a layered soap um, my thought process is for the confetti soap to be at the very bottom there's gonna be a layer there and I want to do a drop swirl over the top of this layer and do some little decorations on top I got some uh, other uh, soap shreds that I'm gonna put on top that you don't see here in the view just yet um, but I'm going to put those across the top just to do something a little bit different than what I normally do with my soaps. Um, I usually don't use embeds. I usually um, don't get into putting salt and stuff like that on the top. So, you know, I just say, you know, this is the year for me to step up my game and get outside of my box and out of my comfort zone and do some things uh, that I normally don't particularly do. Some things that I may not necessarily be comfortable with doing because, I mean, how can you grow as a soaper if you don't push yourself to the to your limits? Not to the limits, but your limits. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this soap colored up. And we'll get started to pouring on this soap. Now, don't laugh at me, you guys. Like I said, I'm not a not I'm not an expert at making mixing up pink. So it took me a while uh, to get the exact shade uh, of pink that I was looking for. I'm using, I believe it's called Watermelon Punch uh, from Nurture Soaps. This is the only shade of pink that I'm using, but I'm using various amounts to get different shades uh, in each of these separate jugs here.
as you can see I'm adding more color here um, just so that I can get the right shade of pink um, I want the colors to be able to pop a little bit but I do want it to be a variance difference um, between uh, the different shades of pink uh, I do have uh, plans on not only doing a drop swirl towards the top I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a long time and I'm going to do a uh, in the pot swirl uh, to pour that uh, drop swirl over the top of the confetti soap. So we'll see how this turns out, but I'm not having a go good go at the colors here. As you can see, I'm going back and forth between adding mica and adding titanium dioxide, trying to get just that right shade, which I have no clue what it is because I'm not a fan of pink. This is crazy, but I'm still trying to give it a go. <laughs> So as you can see here, all my paints are definitely a different shade. There's a noticeable difference in all the shades. They're not too close together as far as the color is concerned. So we're going to get to adding these soap shreds into uh, the main portion of the soap. And we'll just see how this goes. Now don't laugh at me, y'all. Like I said, this is my first time doing a confetti soap. I had no idea how much of the soap shred to add into this soap. Now I can say for some of you newbies out there that there is a way of calculating how much soap shred you need to make a batch of soap so that you don't have too much soap batter in the long run. But I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I didn't do that. I just went on ahead and made the soap and let it be what it's going to be. Um, if I have any extra, then I'll just pull out an extra mold. You know, I really don't get into all of that. You can always figure out some fun stuff to do uh, with extra soap pieces, just like I'm doing here by, you know, using these uh, soap shreds to make a confetti soap. So don't get so caught up into, oh my God, I got too much or I don't have enough. You can always find something creative to do with leftover soap. soap batter um, this like I said I'm using a canola oil soap base here and I've come to realize that this batter is just way too thin I would have to wait eons for this stuff to go ahead and set up so at this point I think I've come to realize that I need to change the game up just a little bit we're gonna do something different with this soap As you can see, it's just still very, very fluid. Everything is just swooning all around. Now, it has great suspension to hold the pieces and everything in place, but this batter is just really, really thin. I would have to wait too long uh, for this soap to set up. So while I try to figure out what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to go ahead and get the inner pot swirl portion of the soap done. Um, I got one of my top pieces down in my soap. I don't know how that happened, but <clears throat> I just plucked that out of there, stuck it in the rest of the soap. You won't see it when you cut the soap, so it's fine. And even with these uh, butt jugs of soap, you can see that the soap is still just really very fluid. It's moving around very well, set up very well, but it will take forever to be able to get this to spoon or pipe or anything like that, I'm waiting on this to thicken up. So I'm just working with what it is that I got here. Now 
Now at this point I did realize that I may have uh, too much soap going on here which is why I didn't pour all of that light pink in there and I really only wanted it to be a small little smidget. So we're just going to go ahead and get this portion of the soap into the mold. So as you can see, we're pretty full here. I'm just going a little couple of swirly do's on the top just to prepare it uh, for the extra confetti pieces that I'm going to put on top here. And as you can see, I'm using some black and white soap. These are some uh, soap shreds that I had from when I made the black soap for men, uh, the drop swirl soap. Uh, I just, I don't know, for me, um, black and white on pink is just such a classic look and I really love it and there was so many dark pieces in the actual fine confetti parts of the soap I really couldn't find any other soap shreds that I had on hand that would really work for this so I figured this would be a good addition to the top and we'll just see how it turns out so I'm likely I'm going to speed this process up uh, because this is kind of boring. I'm just sticking the pieces on top. Nothing interesting to see here. So I'll speed this up. Alright guys, so here's the close-up of the soap after it's all glittered up and who knows what in the world you call this on the top, but this is what we have, this is what we came up with and stay tuned for the cut. Alright guys, so I'm back to cut the soap and here it is. We'll see what this is going to look like. <laughs> oh, I kind of smudged it there with the cutter trying to get things situated in range. But that's the top of the loaf. And we're going to cut into this and see what we get here. Um, I have no idea what to expect because making this soap uh, was so different. Um, I haven't done it in a pot swirl in a long time and I did that with this soap and uh, I've never done any type of shred shredded anything on top of my soap um, so yeah this was fun let's cut into this and see what we get and I don't want to get any drag marks or anything so I'm just gonna flip it over on this side here and uh, Let's see what's inside. Oh my. <laughs> that is interesting indeed. It's probably a good thing that I flipped it over actually. These soap bits are moving around as I'm going through. Just a tad bit sticky on the inside still. See, that's where I touched it there. It's still a little tacky there. Um, this is a much <laughs> different recipe. That's interesting how I got the drop swirl and, and it just, oh wow. Um, this is not what I was going for when I was planning on 
putting this soap together and everything uh, actually I was going for a layer on the bottom but because the batter was so loose and you guys know I'm impatient I don't like to wait I just went on ahead and did the thing and uh, I have to say I like it it's interesting it's different yeah <laughs> I like it I'm, I'm surprised that I did I did not think I was gonna like the way this turned out you guys know I'm not a fan of pink first and foremost and then when you're talking about putting stuff on the inside of it and the soap shreds that I had were not cute in color as you can see it's quite a bit well maybe you can't see but there's quite a bit of brown and stuff in there but the really the one color that's really standing out the most is the shredded black soaps there's like a pop of green there and everything and then you got the drop swirl going on down in the middle that turned out super cool Yeah, that turned out really cool. Really, really, really cool. I'm surprised it turned out this well. That is just such an interesting and different look. I've never seen anyone attempt a, a drop swirl with a confetti soap. So... I thought I'd put a little twist and spin on it since my batter was so loose and I was being impatient. I thought it was going to look super fugly. <laughs> but yeah, that turned out to be not so bad at all. And that pink is just so light. It almost looks white, but that is actually a pink. And it's three shades of pink. Uh, just so that you can see the difference in texture and all of that going on in it. Uh, would I do this again? Yeah, I would. I might have to make this a permanent design in my shop because I like the way it turned out. Um, maybe not per se with these particular colors of confetti. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a permanent design for me. This is this turned out absolutely lovely. Now, if I could just figure out what in the world I did to get my shred so fine, you know, oh, that one is really cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm going to give you a close-up of what these guys look like. Spread them out so you can see the super swirls and stuff going on in there. And just take a look at this, guys. I love the difference in the texture and how that swirl is going down in there. Oh, my God. The ideas that I have running through my mind for my next one. Oh yeah, that turned out fantabulous. So until the next soapy video, ta-ta for now.